Hello, YouTubers. Um, so I had a gap in my class today, and I went to Target, and I found this guy today. He actually looks better in person than he did in the promotional images. Like, I mean, his dorsal plates didn't come off that strong, in my opinion, in the in the images. Like, they're better in person, but let's see the lighting in my car right now. But like, they're still the dorsal plates are there, but they're still a little bit nubby. But overall, it looks really good. I can't open it until I get home, but there's his feet, there's his tail. Very well detailed. It looks more detailed than their final Wars Godzilla. There he is from face forward. You know, his hands are a little bit nubby. Let's see. There we go. Am I speaking too loud? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but here's the prototype image, which honestly does look better. But he retailed for $22 and after taxes, it was $24.98. But he looks really good. Um, oh, snap. Let me focus in. It actually looks really decent, especially for this scale. Um, these are a little bit rubberized, yeah. But as of right now, I can't open it until I get home. Because, like I said, I'm on campus. Waiting in my car for my class to start. But um, the plan is to... Get some air dry clay, sculpt better dorsal plates, and then repaint the whole entire thing to a matte black with some gray dry brushing. And yeah, because honestly, I don't know why Bandai America or Bandai Japan never made in a big scale 54 guys with it. Like, he's the one who started it all. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm really excited. Um, I'm kind of hoping that Playmates does either Shin or 84 next, because those are some cool designs. But don't fuck up on Shin. <laughs> But yeah, start changing your target, you guys. You don't know. You might be surprised at what you find. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share. Bye.